What is the one thing you would change in WordPress in 2023 and why? Well, I asked that question to the best and the brightest and the most intelligent WordPress folks I knew, uh, but none of those were available, so I got this bunch. No, no, I've got the best WordPress pros, bloggers, influencers, and developers in the world to answer that question, and here are their answers. Oh, mine's at the end as well. <music> So what would I like to see change in WordPress in 2023? Well, simple answer is the dashboard. It is by far the least loved part of WordPress by the WordPress developers themselves. Things pretty much haven't changed inside you for what seems like decades. It's probably only a couple of years, but you know what I mean. The biggest change we've seen is full site editing and Gutenberg and so on, and there's still a disconnect between those two elements. For example, when you go into the appearance and into the editor, this now looks like a slightly different part of the whole WordPress experience. If you open up the left panel with the editor, where you can go to the template parts and so on, this looks totally different to the rest of the dashboard. If you're going to start introducing new features, at least have them cohesive. If you're going to update things to make them look a little bit more modern and fresh, like they've done with the whole full site editing side of things, it would be nice to see that rolled out to the entire dashboard. So that's it for me. All I would like to see is to have this expanded to give us some basic things like the ability to actually see the thumbnail for our posts in the post section for quick, easy identification, like you can see inside WooCommerce. You know, there's lots of little tweaks and things I'd like to see come on board and just make it a much more usable and a much nicer place to be. It's pretty obvious really, this. Why can they do that and nobody else? Why do other plugins who are very, very large and got lots of money, why are they allowed to do that? Stop it. That's what I want. Please stop it. That's all I've got to say. This is nonsense. It's annoying. And once you have five or six plugins doing it, your dashboard is crowded and you can't actually get on with any work. Look, when I go to a post, it's still there. Why? I don't want it. I'm going to close it down. What happens? It comes back. So, stop it. Thank you. One thing I would change with WordPress in 2023, I'd like to see a change in the governance process where the WordPress Foundation functions something like the Drupal Association with members supporting the project through dues and electing representatives to the board of directors. The goal being to have better communication and more community input. Hi, it's me, Ellen from Elmo Studio and I know blogs. Um, for 2023, I would give the WordPress dashboard, the admin, a complete design overhaul. That would be so cool to give it a fresh look. It's been there for a while and we worked so hard to improve the experience with blog themes and full site editing in 2022. So I think that would be cool to see. That is a great question, Jamie. What is the one thing I would like to change in WordPress for 2023? But there's a little problem with that question because um, there's not just one thing, huh? There's, there's so many things I would like to see different, but uh, I'm gonna pick one. And um, in a, a short descriptive way, it is for WordPress to become an activity hub. And what does that mean? Well, with social media becoming le less and less relevant over the years, and the fact that we should all want to own our own data, I think it's time for WordPress to step into that particular void. It has a market share of 43% of the entire web, which means we have some pull, and with the inclusion of activity pub, we can turn every single WordPress site into a part of a larger concept, the Fediverse, you can call it as well, I guess. Uh, Mastodon is a perfect example of it, but what if your own WordPress site could integrate with such a thing? Hey 
Hey there, my name is Nick Diego and I'm a developer advocate at WP Engine. 2022 has been such a crazy year. We started with 5.9 with the introduction of full site editing and now we're through 6.1. So much has happened this year in terms of improving both the block editor as well as the site editor. Uh, as we look forward to 2023, the thing that I'm kind of looking towards most is the ability to extend the site editor. And one of the things I firmly believe in is that the power of WordPress is the ability for plugin developers and other extenders to add functionality that may pertain to a niche segment of our community. And that's what makes WordPress so powerful. Right now, we don't have that functionality really within the site editor. It makes sense, we had a lot to do just to get it to where it is today. Um, but moving forward, I'd love to see some more ability for third-party developers, extenders to add functionality to the site editor through hooks and filters and so on and so forth. So um, that will, I think, will make the, the site editor you know, more useful to a broad audience. And one of the final things is more ability to curate the editor, be able to turn certain things on and off, user permissions, that sort of thing. We see some of that with block locking and some additional functionality that we've seen so far in 2022. Seeing that expanded in 2023, I think will be fantastic and increase adoption for those that are building sites for clients, for agencies, that sort of thing. So very excited for 2023. I think we're gonna have a lot of great functionality uh, coming to WordPress and I cannot wait. Hi, I'm Katie, co-founder at Bantu Plugins. The one thing that I would change in WordPress in 2023 is to add an option to edit the entire post or page in Gutenberg using the HTML or text view like we had in the classic editor. Um, with the Barn2 blog, we still have classic editor for largely this reason, and I use it all the time to save time instead of having to edit individual blocks. So, for example, let's say that one of my content writers has accidentally copied a load of uh, spam tags and things from Google Drive where they might have written the article. If you can go into text view for the whole article, then you can very easily get rid of those. You can even copy the content of the article into a notepad app or something and use find and replace to get rid of those bits of code and then paste it back into WordPress. And that isn't possible with Gutenberg because of the way everything is structured into blocks. So I'd really like to see something like that introduced in WordPress in 2023. The one thing I think should change in WordPress in 2023 is the general dashboard experience. Uh, we've come a long way with the Gutenberg project, bringing it to where it is that now that it's uh, starting to become actually useful. Um, but the rest of the dashboard is still wonky and very much like uh, Windows 95, at least in my opinion. So I think that users that are coming into this experience for the first time, they expect something that is uh, a lot more refined, especially from a platform that is powering so many websites and, um, and still growing. So I think that a lot of the efforts for the next year should be focused on making the dashboard experience a lot more in sync with the Gutenberg um, rebrand or redesign. As, and that doesn't mean just the dashboard itself, but all of the tables, views, and all of the um, uh, repo uh, design, as well as introducing some more modern experiences for the dashboard and for users that are coming in now in 2023. <music> one thing I would change about WordPress in 2023 would be the lazy loading of images. I know there's optimization plugins we can use and code snippets and things like that, but I don't like the way that WordPress automatically just lazy loads images. It's kind of removed the control a lot of us would like to have. I want to have the facility where I can say no, these three or four images do not lazy load because it can impact on your page speed performance if you care a lot about that and I definitely do. So if WordPress could just please remove that feature or functionality and let us have control or even kind of have like a switch whereby it is already on because I know they care about it and there's a reason they introduced it but allow us to deactivate it and then have full on control over what is lazy loaded and what isn't. Hey Jamie, thanks for the great question. So what is one thing you changed with WordPress in 2023 and why? 
I'm gonna say more site editor usage and a little asterisk, more art. So bear with me. Um, in my mind, the more people we can have use the site editor, the more we can improve what's there, find the edges and push beyond. The site editor also represents a way of using blocks that brings the power of Gutenberg really to fruition in many ways. So it's critical that we continue to iterate and have people use it. Plus, the more we improve the block experience in general, the more we can think about improving blocks everywhere they're used, which is really powerful when you think about Gutenberg as a framework and the impact it could have, the, really the exponential impact it could have on the larger internet. It also improves ever we bring blocks to WordPress. So if we think about bringing blocks to more places in the future, um, or blockifying the different experiences, I think there's a ton there. Tied to this, I have to add it, I'd love to see more art being created with WordPress. So I run the Museum of Block Art, and I want folks to push the edges of what's possible in a similar way and go beyond and create something beautiful while you're doing it. I find art really inspiring, and I find using WordPress to create art to be just really cool and fantastic and shows how far the tool has gone. Thanks for the great question, Jamie, and thanks for including me. And here's the change I'd like to see in 2023. I would like global stars and block stars to move across in the site editor into this left-hand panel. At the moment, you can only access them within the templates and they're kind of obscure. They're over here in the right-hand panel and they're pretty hard to see, but they're really, really powerful things. And so I would like to see them moved over into this left-hand panel at this top level under design here. So a huge thank you to all my WordPress friends for helping out with that video. I hope you found it interesting. Let me know what the one change you would like to see in WordPress in 2023 is. Stick them in the comments below. It'd be fascinating reading. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and useful. If you did, if you can hit that like button below, it'd be amazing because it really, 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 really helps spread the word of the video. It really, really does. And also every time you do hit that like button below, our cats get a little treat. <laughs>